Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best video game remakes ever. Over the last few years, we've been seeing classics we know and love either get remade or even reimagined. Very rarely do these remakes not hit the mark, so we might not have included your favorite. Let us know in the comments which you think surpassed the original. Before we continue, we publish content all week long. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Halo, the Master Chief Collection. The Chief, defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right. The Master Chief Collection is one of those rare collections of games that launched in a not so great state, but was able to turn the ship around and became one of the best Halo experiences ever. It didn't just remaster one game, but remastered a whole franchise. Of course, we got a visual upgrade, we also got all the multiplayer we fell in love with from past Halo games, now all in one place, with even more challenges for those adept with the trilogy's content. The Master Chief Collection became the hub for all the classic Bungie Halo goodness we've been longing for. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Every 90s PlayStation fan loves Crash Bandicoot. After the original trilogy, the game sort of fell off. The Insane Trilogy took the first three games and brought them to modern consoles. While the game may look like a crazy fur K upgrade, there is much more to this collection. We remember Crash feeling great, but let's be honest, while the controls were amazing for the time, they weren't as good as today's standards. The Insane Trilogy added tighter controls and upgraded the physics. All the classic levels we remember are here, and some new additions. It even added some of the more difficult levels that were cut from the originals. Crash wasn't the only beloved PS1 mascot to get the remake treatment. The original Spyro Trilogy also got a great remaster in the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, which offers the same great nostalgia trip. Shadow of the Colossus Bluepoint can do no wrong when it comes to recreating amazing worlds. This remake of Shadow of the Colossus somehow took the 2005 PS2 classic and polished everything to a fine sheen, whilst keeping the lonely meditative atmosphere intact. Scaling the peaceful, gigantic beast is made easier with the option of a newer, modern control scheme. Visually, the game got a much-needed facelift, with the ability to see the world in 4K really emphasizing the beauty of the Forbidden Lands. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 It's very rare a remake can save a franchise, but Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 brought the classic series back into the limelight. All the classic levels are back, from the iconic warehouse in Pro Skater 1 all the way to School 2 from Pro Skater 2. All the character models are back, with new skater additions including Tony Hawk's son, Riley Hawk. Most of the original soundtrack made its way into the remake as well. It kept the tight controls and added reverts, allowing for much more versatility to combos. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 is not only one of the best remakes out there, but may just be the best Tony Hawk game. Resident Evil With every classic Resident Evil game receiving a remake, one can't forget the trend goes all the way back to the GameCube. This remake was basically a one-for-one -one recreation of the 1996 classic with new features to keep it fresh. In the original RE1, we were graced with the best worst voice acting we've ever heard. The remake changed these to sound more grounded and less cheesy, which paired nicely with a visual overhaul that still looks great to this day. Add a few changes to the combat, and even the zombies, a la the Crimson Heads, and you got one hell of a way to kick off gaming's greatest remake saga. Only three Stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. Pokemon Hard Gold, Soul Silver. Yeah. 
How can you remake a game that is almost perfect? Heart Gold and Soul Silver took what made the original games great and added so much more in terms of the battle system and general traversal. Obviously, the game got a new look for being on the DS, using the same engine as Diamond and Pearl. We also have the ability to have our favorite Pokemon follow us around, so our little Chikorita can be at our side our entire adventure. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver took the spot of most fans' favorite Pokemon game. Same cannot be said about Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Demon's Souls Another great remake from Bluepoint. Demon's Souls was a PS5 launch game that really showed off what the system can do. It kept the eerie atmosphere and the hard-hitting difficulty whilst taking full advantage of the PS5 with faster loading times, better audio and visual, and the use of the DualSense. Demon's Souls simply took what made the original PS3 game amazing and added some much-needed quality of life. For those that wanted to leap into the Souls franchise pre-Elden Ring, it didn't get any better than this. Black Mesa The only fan game remake on this list, Black Mesa took the first Half-Life and added features and changes fans have been screaming for. Just like all the games on the list, Black Mesa had visual upgrades, but a lot more was changed for this remake. Simple things like the ability to roll grenades which allowed for more precise aiming made everything flow so much better. The addition of Half-Life 2 mechanics was a great feature as well, so we could grab objects scattered throughout the world and use them in combat if need be. Possibly the biggest change in this remake is the overhaul of Zen. The short-lived level in the original is now a bigger part of the game. Just give these guys the key to Half-Life 3 already. Final Fantasy VII Remake Keep it up. Of course, this was going to make the cut, taking one of the most iconic PS1 RPGs of all time and giving it from the ground up a remake and somewhat of a retelling. Final Fantasy VII Remake is the beginning of the trilogy that united newcomers and hardcore fans in awe due to how devastatingly good it was. Taking a small part of the original game and turning it into a 30 plus hour action RPG, expanding the lore in certain cases, whilst also introducing a brand new battle system that became as addictive as it was fluid. It may not be a one for one remake, but still has the charm and world building that FF fans have come to adore. And we still have two more parts to go. How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Resident Evil 2. Bringing horror back to the Resident Evil series was the key goal of RE2 Remake. And damn if they didn't hit it out of the park. RE2 Remake took the horrifying Raccoon City and the iconic police station, rearranged some aspects, before bringing in a fresh dose of terror courtesy of Mr. X. Despite adapting the over-shoulder perspective we've seen in more action-focused Resident Evil games, this game was chill-inducing through both campaigns. Resident Evil 2 triggered the start of a slew of Resident Evil remakes, the quality of which has been dazzling to behold, and we can thank Leon and Claire's struggle for survival for kicking it off in such style. Okay, let's get through this, both of us. Did you enjoy this video? Check out some other clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.